Um, we're going to be using this as a camera tracker, which we're going to affix on top of the camera, which will hopefully democratise the, the process of virtual production and bring it to more people. So, literally, as you can see, we've never opened this before. This is what you're going to get. Straight away, small little device. We have now got the Vive Tracker working as a camera tracker. We've time uh, gen locked the frame rate to the camera. One's running at about 40, one's running at about uh, the 25 frames per second. But you can see here that the actual Really impressive. One of the other things that we can do as a camera tracker going straight into the sequencer in Unreal. So we just start the recording. Two, one. Then we can move the camera, take the shot, quickly whip it back, whip it up, follow it around, go down like that, and stop the recording. And then, if we look into the recording, we'll see the tracks, and we'll also see where we can now export the tracks, and we could save them as FBX data, and output that camera then to, say for instance, Maya, or Blender, or another 3D program, and recreate that virtual camera in uh, a sort of offline renderer. Or, we could utilize the data in sequencer to rerun the whole uh, shot again and render it out. But looking at it, I mean, we can go right the way down here and we've still not lost any tracking. And we've got, you can whip it. That's pretty cool. And that's a hundred pound solution for camera tracking.